Okay, you guys, happy wintry day. It is dumping out there. Actually, is it still dumping? It wasn't until I came. It was melting. Okay, good. It's melting because it was a whiteout this morning on my way here. Okay, we're going to... This young lady made it to us since the snow's melting, and we are going to take out uh, this black head out of her back. So... Let me show you. So why on earth do we use a lancet? A lancet's one of these things that you prick your finger to test, uh, you know, for if you're diabetic, to test your blood glucose level. They're cheap, actually. If you use a little other needles, they're expensive. So can you lean forward just a little bit? So really, since she's all, if I just open this a little tiny bit, then we can get that out of there. I numbed this little subric keratosis that bugs her too. So she's gonna get just a little two for one here. So I get a couple of little clean toothpicks. And let's see if we can get this out. Oh, it's coming. There she goes. Okay, so the one issue is I always like to think, hey, okay, we got this out great, but will another one come back there? So I am electrodesiccation fan. So I end up just taking the tiniest little bit of electrodesiccation, which is heat. She's already numbed. And then I just put it right in the center. We'll do this one first. Okay, I put it really low. It doesn't have to be much, but just just that little bit will then allow that to not come back. How do we keep this guy from coming back? I just put this right in the center. I try to not get anything on the sides. Mm -hmm. That's it. Did you so this is one more, um, this is called a seborrheic keratosis. There's basically three things you can do here. Nothing, <laughs> okay. freeze, heat. Oh, and shave off. So there's four things you could do. Okay. I'm gonna do a little heat. And the reason why is if we shave it off, then you have to submit it, and that costs more. Freezing is great, and freezing is what we do often. Um, but I find electrodesiccation more accurate. And since we already numbed her, can you feel anything here? Not yet. Don't, don't <laughs> jinx me, not ever. I never want you to feel it, but that is it. So then I don't have to like leave it open or anything. It'll just heal and go on its own. So that's a little uh, separate keratosis. Well, we thought we were done but she found another one, and so this is great. So it'll allow me to show you another way that we typically treat seborrheic keratoses, which are these kind of warty little growths that are gifts from our mom or dad. <laughs> so let me show you. Okay, so she has this little warty thing on her ear. The great thing is I know that this isn't scary, so I'm gonna do a little freeze. So I kind of brace myself. Ouch, I'm gonna feel a little bit. Gonna feel like old man winter. So just kind of get to the border. And I just leave it for a second. And some people would be like, well, that looked a little scary. How do you ever freeze stuff that looks scary? I don't, unless I know a hundred percent that it's a separate keratosis, which I do in this case then I don't freeze. So, we'll do this one last time. How you doing? Fine. Yes. I'm glad you're doing it. Just so everybody knows, this is what the weather looks like outside. Right on her ear, this is basically how, how my drive felt. Hey, thank you for watching our video. We enjoyed making it. If you enjoyed it, please feel free to press the thumbs up button or subscribe below.